Uh, no, nah, it's not the secret. I mean, we're going to play our guys some. And uh, I don't know how long yet. You know, We've had a good camp. It's been a good physical camp. You know, these guys have embraced the fact that, uh, you know, they feel like they've been doing some things probably that other teams haven't been doing. And, uh, but again, it doesn't matter until you start playing games. So uh, I recognize that. I recognize the fact of what we do two days before a game, in the preseason even, and understand uh, how that can affect someone's body. So that's uh, more so than anything else. That's why I've approached uh, training camp the way we did. And, um, you know, I'd like to get our work done right now in a controlled environment. So um, to see how much better we can get on a day-in and day-out basis. Um, this week's a little different because you're definitely not going to do it next week. Um, you know, so we'll see. You know, some of it factors in on how guys are feeling, you know, little nicks and bumps that they may have because they've got nicks and bumps. I mean, we've had physical uh, – a physical camp, so you just got to factor all those things in and then make a determination. So I'm really not trying to avoid the question. It's just I don't have all the answers yet because I don't know a guy can feel totally different on Friday than he did on Wednesday. But you're not like sitting out the starters by choice. You know what I mean? Like you could have just said we're shutting down everybody for the last three weeks. Yeah, no. I mean, it's going to be a player by player basis. You know, a certain player may need something different than another player. You know, so we try to, you know. Make everybody feel special. I hate to see him after a loss. Well, how do you, how do you think? Well, there's not supposed to be many of those this year. Yeah, well, that that's a good thing. But yeah. um, there's a side. Don't you think there's a side to him that we haven't seen yet? Yeah, I mean, look, it's so far. You know, his approval rating is like a hundred percent. Right. Right. Because Which it wasn't when the job came open. Well, the week before, it was Greg Williams that was supposed right. to get the job. I mean, right. the, the week before the end of the season. And then uh, they go on and lose that game against the Ravens. It felt like a playoff game. And then everyone's like, oh, what are we talking about? We need to hire Freddie Kitchens. And look, everybody loves Freddie right now. And you're hearing fans say, look, the camp is tougher and he's got the players' backs. These are things we say every year. I mean, right. every year at the start of a regime. I can go back and show you the articles about what people said about Hugh Jackson's first practice. You had a bunch of veterans saying, this is the best camp I've ever been at. So I think we have to be careful not to get swept up in the newness and the fact that right now it's a blank slate with Freddie Kitchens. No tarnishing at all because he hasn't lost a game. Right. Now we got to go out and evaluate him and see how this thing actually I don't, works. I don't want to be a downer about this, but legitimately, there are four four things that bother me as the season comes about. Only four. Well, That's good. Right now. Used to be like 24. Left left uh, uh, tackle, mm -hmm. right guard, mm -hmm. kicking game, mm -hmm. and the coach. We don't know anything about the coach. Right, and I and I, all I'm saying about Fred, Freddie might end up being a great coach. coach I hope is, he does. Coaches can come from anywhere, and people will bring up Andy Reid had no history actually calling plays before he got the job. But this Freddie thing is going to be a, a trial by error. I mean, we'll we'll see this thing, and you're going to see him. There will be a botched um, uh, clock management situation, and that's every coach. And you know what? He's going to make rookie mistakes this year. The yep. question is, is this team talented enough to overcome them? I think they are. Baker going into his first full year where he's quarterback start to finish. I'm excited for it because I think Baker's only going to get better. Is the kicker on opening day on the roster right now? Oof. I think yes, but I, I do not but think they will hesitate to pull the plug. Have shelf life. Yeah, and I mean, right now, Cyber looks like he's going to get cut. And I know people are going to go after John Dorsey for that. I yeah, still, he still has a good record. I still commend Dorsey. I know I'm in the minority. There are people that do not want to draft kickers ever. They think it's a crapshoot. But the one thing you can't say is that he did not try to address the kicking situation. Yeah. He did. He thought he was a guy, but, but you'd look at his, his record at Oklahoma, not, not very good. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the other thing. You, you pointed it out during uh, what Freddie was talking about, how uh, most coaches ha have a certain uh, approval rating when sure. they come in. Um, he's, he's in a situation where um, he's going to have to win. Unlike most first-year coaches, he was given a pretty good roster to work with. This is as good a situation as you can come into it. Yeah, in you, he's not the, some of the horror, horrible teams mm -hmm. and has to pull a rabbit out of his hat. But when he was talking about play him, uh, you know, there's the old argument at the beginning of the season, uh, how, how long do you play the, the, yeah. the first string? And then at the end of the season, you're hoping if you have a bye in the playoffs, you say, and, and it holds true in baseball also, what's better, rust or yeah. rest? 
And it's the same argument. It's it's the beginning of the season and the end of the season, and they, they collide. I just think you're getting to the point where the NFL belief system going forward is going to be, hey, we'll take our chances with rust. These quarterbacks are too good. There's nothing the defenses can do. They can't hit them. Yes, they're too valuable. You can't hit them anyway once the season begins. And the defenses are so hamstrung anyway that, you know what, maybe there's a quarter of rust, but these quarterbacks are too good. They'll be able to deliver. And it's just the only unfortunate part of it is fans get excited to see their teams sure. in the preseason, and you just got to get that out of your mind. Somebody said to me that, well, what if he gets hurt? Well, they all get hurt, and mm -hmm. you're, there's not enough good second-string quarterbacks to, to come around. If you, if you have to go to your second-string quarterback more than one time to finish mm -hmm. a game when a guy, guy gets hurt, plus maybe one game to start, you're not going to win anyway. Yeah, the Nick Foles thing was an anomaly, and you know you're you're praying, you're praying that Baker can stay healthy. People forget about the shot he took last year uh, in Tampa Bay. He took a few shots, and his ankle was a little bit messed up, and it definitely hurt him over the course of the next few weeks before Hugh Jackson and ultimately end up getting fired. He's a guy that his size, he's not going to want to take a lot of hits, right. and I think that offense is going to scheme around an offensive line that may not be as good as we were hoping. Yeah, but don't we think they they he understands now that. He's got to get rid of it at certain times. Yeah, and he does a pretty he good did. job at that. He does he try to extend clean, the plays. He wanted not a lot of dirt on his uh, yeah. uniform, that's for sure. North